All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at Prestige 10 in Ghost Recon Wildlands Ghost War, if it's worth it, and what you get for reaching Prestige 10. So the first thing I ended up getting, I got three different camos. One of my personal favorites from campaign, the Dead Leaves camo. This is exactly what it looks like, and I'm going to be rocking this on every single one of my operators. Uh, the next one that I have is Green Netting. This is another camo that you get for Prestige 10. The next one that I have is, or last but not least, is the Woodland Blue, which is down here somewhere. Let me see. Yeah, Woodland Blue. This is the third and final camo for reaching Prestige 10. Also for Prestige 10, for reaching it, you get an increase in Prestige credits. So I believe right now, every time I rank up, I earn about 350, maybe even 400, somewhere around that ballpark. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all you get for Prestige 10. Three camos and a Prestige credit increase. Uh, right now, I'm sitting at 85,300 credits now. A couple important things that people want to know about Prestige 10. Number one was, what's the highest level? It is Prestige 10, level 50. Now, once you hit Prestige 10, you're not done. You have to go all the way to level 50 and max it out. So that way, you're Prestige 10, level 50. You're not just Prestige 10. So you have to unlock all your operators again. But once you reach Prestige 10, level 50, that's it. You keep all your operators. You don't have to Prestige anymore and you're done so which is pretty cool for me because i like to make uh tips and tricks videos and all that so now i can keep my operators not have to lose them and i can keep every perk every bonus and you know make some really good quality videos for all the operators now um and also a lot of people wanted to know if prestige 10 was worth it and i'm gonna go ahead and use a great example okay uh, a lot of people were talking about the weekly challenges like in the campaign and said that the rewards were really bad which i do agree the rewards weren't that great and we're here in the same case in pvp the rewards for prestige 10 aren't that great but what it comes down to in any online shooter uh that has a leveling system a progression system uh you know rewards and stuff like that it's the challenge that it takes to get those rewards unlocked to get that highest level unlock you know uh prestige 10 wasn't easy you know it was a grind it was a challenge to reach the max level in the game to achieve all the camos you know all the highest level you know put x amount of days into the game and just do that you know so it's the challenge that really comes with reaching prestige 10 so is it worth it for the rewards definitely not uh you know you get prestige credits and camos that's not really the greatest thing but is it worth it for the challenge and the completion of it absolutely because i'm a completionist myself uh you know i like going for all the highest stuff the camos the ranks and you know i've been the same way in call of duty for years you know i go for master prestige i go for all the diamond camos and all that so i i've just been like that so if they had like challenges where you had to complete like get 100 headshots and all i'm pretty sure I would have done those too um but anyways yeah like i said the challenge is what it's all about uh, the rewards not so much but i would recommend going for prestige 10 to anybody i mean first off you get your prestige credits and you build them up hopefully later on they'll add something that you can get with your prestige credits like you know maybe some camos or some outfits for your character you know stuff like that because i have eighty five thousand prestige credits sitting here and you know you can use them on operators to unlock which is cool but i have the season pass and uh the ghost war pass so they unlock right off rip and I don't need to spend any prestige credit. So hopefully they'll bring, you know, like I said, some camos, some gear sets, and, uh, you know, just some other cool stuff to purchase with the prestige credits that only people that have prestige credits can get. Um, also, I wanted to address uh, the boosters. Now, the boosters, a lot of people have been saying, oh, this guy uses a booster. Of course he's doing good and blah, blah, blah. And I want to explain something. The boosters... And I did use a booster to go from Prestige 1 all the way to 10, just so you know. I had a little uh, dry time where I didn't use a booster through, like, majority of Prestige 9. Um, but the boosters only work as hard as the player works himself, okay? If the player doesn't do too well in a game, the booster isn't going to give you much XP at the end. If the player works really hard in the game, then the booster will work really hard as well. For instance, if I went 0-2 in a game, maybe got one or two revives and marked somebody, the booster will say, okay, well, you mark people in the revive, that's great, but you didn't get any kills so we'll give you like 250 300 extra xp now if i ended up going 11 and 1 carried the freaking team and you know put mines down and got mine kills and revives and marks and all that i'm looking maybe at like a 700 800 xp uh reward at the end of the game from the booster now the booster doesn't multiply uh your mark points or anything so for instance when you mark somebody uh you know you get 25 points for a mark the booster doesn't make it you know 50 points or 75 points or whatever it's still that 25 point point uh point system for the mark with a booster on the only thing that the booster does is just add uh extra xp on for the performance that you displayed in the game so like i said if you do good the booster does good for you if you do bad the booster does bad for you so i just wanted to clear that up and also the boosters are pretty cheap man if you guys haven't looked into them i mean they're only 
I'd say it's $16 uh, for a whole month of boosters. So say, for instance, you get it in the beginning of December uh, and you buy it. It's like you have to buy the $20 pack. So if you go to buy credits, you have to buy the $20 one uh, in order to get it. But uh, you buy the $20 one and 16 bucks out of that is for the Long Ghost War booster. And 11 of my friends plus me have purchased this. And this booster lasted me from Prestige 1 all the way to Prestige 8 and a half, I'd say. Like, I think I it... Uh, got done probably around like prestige 8 level 45 so it lasts a pretty good amount of time so i would recommend getting it uh you know if you have a good amount of time to play if you don't have a lot of time to play then don't invest in it it's not really worth it because uh even when you're off the game like in the bottom right hand corner you can see i have 155 hours on a seven day booster left but i'm gonna leave my console for three days so when i come back that booster isn't gonna be the same it's gonna be like i don't know like 100 and something hours but um you know when you're logged off the game it does go down so anyways that's pretty much it and i'm gonna wrap it up and also if you guys wanted to check out my stats i know a lot of people were asking about my streams what my stats are my kill death ratio um you know my longest shot and all that and pvp you guys can check out the first link in the description below um i'll have my uh the link to my ubisoft uh freaking profile my ghost profile for ghost war you can check out all my stats my favorite perks my days played my prestige level uh my favorite weapons you know my kd all that good stuff that people care about but um anyways i'm out of here thank you guys so much for uh watching the video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to slap a like drop a sub if you're new and i will see you in the next one peace out oh let's go Damn. Why did they fucking outplayed bro why didn't he pick the other three people up?